Hey, welcome back 360 Electricians. I am in my brick and mortar, Los Angeles, California, where I've been in this warehouse for well over 10 years. I outgrew it years ago, but the rent is so cheap, I ain't gonna move until they kick me out. Hey, let's go up and down my aisles and let me bring you some parts that I honestly have no idea what they're called. I've either used them or I stock them and I need your help. Comment down below if you know what these parts are. All right, I'm cheating on number one. I actually know what this part is. I've got it in almost every size in this warehouse. Can you guys tell me what part that is? Let's start off with a practice. Comment down below. Part number one is, list it down below, and let's get into some harder parts. All right, here's some other parts. I'm gonna put them down on this counter. Now, I can tell you probably what this is used for, but I have no idea what this thing is called. It has got a yellow ring on the connector right there. So I'm assuming it makes something waterproof. And then it's got a hole, looks like a half inch. I bet you an EMT goes there with a set screw. What the heck is this called and where would you put it? This, I don't think I have ever used. It's kind of crazy. It's gonna go into some kind of a half inch KO and then it's gonna hold a, an EMT pipe. Guys, what is is this thing let me know comment down below all right this next part i know it has something to do with this body part right here but i have no idea what the name is unless the street and this come together is this a street elbow i have no idea now this has got a male and a female on the end now i've used this before again i've used it i'm assuming it's a street elbow correct me if i'm wrong what i use this a lot for is when we did solar we would bust a little hole in the stucco on a flush mount panel and then you were able to get this little street elbow in and do a 90 and come right outside to an lb and that's how we would power up our inverters but i don't know if this is the actual same street elbow because my guys made me stock it but i haven't been here in a while and i haven't used it so let me know is that a street elbow or not have no idea let's get into the next part All right, God bless him, Jerry, my longest journeyman electrician here in the California location, passed away a number of years ago. He made me stock this sucker. Now, in my mind, I know what it's for again, but I just don't know the name. It is some kind of a coupling, and it looks like a chase nipple that's threaded on the inside on one side, and then it's got this threaded piece on the other. Now, for what I know, it has something to do with rigid. I'm assuming it's some kind of a rigid coupling. What's the exact name for it, guys? Can you tell me? I have no idea. And if if you don't know what the heck it is, comment down below. This video is all about commenting, helping each other identify crazy electrical parts that we use, but have no idea what they're called. Next part. All right, so interestingly enough, when I first saw this, and I have a ton of them on the shelf, I thought to myself, a liquid tight 90 connector, but it's not. First of all, it's not liquid tight up here where it would go into a box, but it's got a liquid tight connector here. I have no idea, is this for rigid? Is this for EMT? I'm assuming it's gonna be rigid because of the quality on it. I've never used it but my guys make me stock it. Got a little blue washer in there. Don't think it's gonna be weather tight anymore. Might be something old that's been on the shelf. But what the heck is this, guys? It's some kind of a 90. What's it used for? Let me know in the comments below if you know what it is. And if you have no idea, let us know down below. Let's get into the next part. All right, my next part, very similar to the uh, rigid part that I said, that coupling. Here's another one. I have no idea what the heck this is. I'm threaded on one side, so I'm assuming it's gonna be in, going into some kind of a threaded rigid coupling or something. And then it opens up again, and then we have another threaded rigid coupling right here inside of it. Pretty insane, you guys. I'm assuming this is gonna be for inline repairs. If you got a break in the conduit and you need to repair it, somehow you can break it pretty even and then, I don't know, coupled it together underground let me know, you master electricians, and by the way, commercial electricians, I'm assuming. Although this is probably repair, something you're gonna use afterwards. Got a ton of them in stock. Have no idea what it is. Comment down below. Guys, what do you think? This is just some of the parts that I keep in my warehouse that I have no idea what they're called. I have used some of them. Some of them I've never touched. Probably my guys have had. I'm relying on you. The channel's relying on you to educate us on the stuff. All right, last part. Let's see if you can identify it because I have no idea what it is. All right, don't laugh, you guys. Again, I kind of have an idea what goes in this thing, but it's kind of boggling my mind right now. All right, here it is. I'm gonna give you guys a good look at it, okay? I hope you can see that really well on video. Now, it's a 90 degree snap connector. I'm assuming for luminaires, I'm assuming in tight places, and I'm assuming it's an in and out. Now, I would say that this would probably be for MC or BX, 
The problem is they're flat openings, so that's kind of confusing me, guys. I know, amateur from the 360 electrician. Hey, but I'm just being honest. I don't know everything in the trade, right? I've never used it. I've never done luminaires like that. Is that what this is for? I'm assuming it'll go into one of my flat fixtures, maybe my troffers, and uh, it'd be nice if Romex went in there because they're flat, but I have a feeling it's for MC or for BX with a snap connector. Oh, because right here, I happen to have what I would assume would be a double MC connector, but this would be coming in through the side where this one would come in through on a 90. And then of course you got your standard. This one's a little bit bigger, probably for control wire number 10s or bigger MC. So guys, what is this one? What's it called? I have no idea. Hey, if you're getting anything out of these videos, if you're getting anything out of the channel, hit subscribe. Don't forget to head to the website, www.the360electrician.com to sign up for an email list so you can know when new videos come out, podcasts, paperwork, courses, and everything you need to level up in the trade. We will see you on the next one.